Hello everyone, welcome back to my page and my YouTube channel. We are today August 5th. Hold on, this is crazy. Yes, <laughs> August 5th, 2014. And the topic discussion that we are going to have is um, spirituality versus religion. For me, this is a topic that is extremely important because I have been knowing for the past years that the cause of the many wars that have been going on from ages have been the cause of religion and not spirituality. So I wanted to come here and speak about what for me, what I feel the difference were between religion and versus spirituality. This is not a religion course, but all of us, I want, I want us to understand that within our body we are spirits right if we were if we were not spirit if you're just if you're just just someone you know like an element then you wouldn't have any feelings you wouldn't be able to cry you wouldn't be able to laugh you wouldn't be able to feel a certain a certain way about a particular person a particular subject a particular cause in life so this is just to say that we are not only humans, but we are spirits within our bodies. Now, for me, a religion is a doctrine. It's something that you, you as a person, associate with. It is something that you agree with. It is a doctrine, uh, for me, this is a, a religion is a, doct a doctrine that you agree with, you believe in, and you take part in the various ritual of that particular doctrine. You understand what I mean? Meaning that every religion has a doctrine. So now, as a human, right, we, all of us in this world, we have backgrounds. We have a place where we are from. I am from Haiti. My parents are Catholics, so I was brought up in the Catholic religion. So that's my background. That's where I am from, that's how I was brought up now. Because of the person that I am, the woman that I am, I've always been a child who always seek to understand better. I've always been someone who always asked questions. I've always been someone who was very interested in seeing what was out there. I've never been, you know, the kind of a person that's like, okay, I grew up in a Catholic, you know, house, Every Sunday, still now, my parents attend Mass, and they always attend the 7 o'clock Mass on Sunday morning. That's their ritual. You know, they follow the, the, the Catholic religion. They follow the Catholic doctrine. That's the way they, they, that's what they believe in. Now, all of us, this is what, as individuals, we grow up in, whether if you are Protestant, whether if you are Muslim, whether if you, whoever, however, that you came about in this world. So as you grow, you have the, the, the ability now to either, you know, accept the doctrine that you grew up in, meaning that, you know, you don't ask, some people never ask questions, you know, it's just that this is, um, it's safe for them to, you know, feel a certain way within the religion that they were brought up in. So they don't really ask questions. They are okay with it and they are fine with it and it's fine. There are other people, for example, who ask questions and who seek. And sometimes what happens is that as you are as you are searching about religion, not spirituality, as you are searching about the different religions that are out there, you are perhaps going to um, be encounter a, a particular doctrine that you feel better fits yourself. You understand? So let's say that I was brought a Catholic. It could have been that I chose to be a Muslim in my life because if I study that doctrine, if I pay attention to what it means to be a Muslim, perhaps I may feel like, you know what, this better fits the person that I am. This better fits the way of my life. So for me, I'd rather be a Muslim than be a, a, Catholic, a Catholic. Just a simple example. This is important for me because I wanted you guys to understand the difference between your spirituality and your religion. Your religion does not determine who you are. Don't ever let people, 
The, your religion does not determine who you are. I don't believe that God created a particular religion for every one religion for everybody. No. Depending on the person that you are, depending on your belief, who, how do you shape your belief? For me, an individual is shaped by who shapes you. It's your community, right? You are shaped by your community. You are shaped by the string of events that happen in your life. You are shaped by the books that you read. You are shaped by the uh, university trade school that you, are, that you attended. You are shaped by the friends that you have. You are shaped by your culture. All of these mold you to become the person that you are going to be down the line. Some people never evolve in life. Why? Because people, they always stay within them. They're the same, you know, either the same cultural that they have. They never travel. They never face, you know, other things. They, so for them, you know, they've, they haven't really seen much of the world of what is out there. A lot of us, we are well taught because we are, you know, we read a lot, we research a lot, we seek knowledge. So we are, our mind is more open to various things. We don't really judge others or sometimes we judge other people. This is why for me, your spirituality now for me is the connection that you have with God, with Allah, with Jehovah, however you wish to call, with the higher power, however you wish to address to that omnipresent, that magnitude of present that exists, you know? Because if you don't believe that there is a higher power above you that dictate this world, then, then, you, uh, then you believe that when you're dead, it's over for you right then you believe that there is not a life after death but if you believe and that's not being a christian that's just you know observing things you know just try to observe if you believe that then yes you know what if i die then i leave this is a body this is a body if i if i pinch myself i'm gonna get hurt if i rip my arms perhaps it's going to come back you know my skin is going to come back this is this is our bodies right but we are spirit within our bodies and our spirituality is how you are going to connect with the outer force with god with the universe is how your mind is going to connect with that other spirituality that is out there right so don't don't let religion cage you down or don't let religion make you judge another person for having a different set of religion because what you have to understand is religion is a doctrine religion does not make your spirituality good how many people go to church every day and are the works the worst comebacks that you've ever encountered in your life i know plenty i i, I if I had to, I know plenty of people who go to church every day and they are scumbags. They won't even lift a finger to help the next person. So what does that say about you? This is a lot about you. You know, I know people who conduct Bible studies, who do so many things, who do rituals, but they are evil from the inside. You know, they don't help out the next person. They are selfish people, individuals. So these people really, what is the basis for their spirituality? Next thing you know, they're talking about, oh, <laughs> you know they're so good no just because you claim to be a, a christian you claim to be a muslim you claim to be a protestant you claim to be a cat that does not mean anything it's your action in the deeper roots of your heart that does not mean anything you know i could be a voodooism for example and i connect very well with a muslim person because it's all about your spirituality your beliefs and respecting other people you we have got to learn how to respect other people in this world this is the problem if you don't agree with something then let's just agree to disagree but not necessarily is that what you say is true is true i mean i don't get it I don't understand. For me, there's actually a poem that I've written. I will copy this poem. And please, it's copywriting. Do not copy my poem and make it your own. Don't do that. I will copy this poem. I wrote it a 
probably like two to three years ago, after, right after the earthquake in Haiti. And it was just a prayer that I addressed to God. And I said, dear God, I know that I haven't been to church lately, but I'm just inquiring. Because for me, I feel like, wow, would God have wanted us to go into all these wars around the world for pettiness? No, I don't believe that. We have to learn to see right now in this world, also in different things, we are marrying different races, we are marrying people with different backgrounds, we are marrying people with different religion. So we are becoming a melting pot. In this world, we have got to learn how to respect other people's spirituality and how to respect other doctrine, other religion. I don't believe in religion. I don't have a religion. I know a lot about different religion. I could sit down, I could probably teach you about Catholic religion, not because I attended church, but because I did a lot of research on the Catholic religion. I have searched a lot about the Muslim religion, but for me, I choose not to have any sets of religion. It's better, but I'm very, very spiritual. You know, I'm very spiritual. I am really much in tune with the spirit world. I do my rituals. I pray to God. I address different spirits. I do not believe in religion. Why? Because for me, religion is the core base for human division. That's for, it's, it's the core base. Religion is the core base for humanity, the division that is going on. Oh, I'm not going to help her now because she's a Catholic. Oh, I'm not going to help her because he's, he's a voodoo practitioner. Oh, I'm not going to help him because he's a Muslim. But if we all learn to respect one another, I believe like this world would be a better world for us to leave. We have got to stop at these things. We have got to learn how to respect one another. It's crucial, it's important if we want to have peace in this world. It's very important. A religion is a doctrine. It doesn't necessarily mean that it is the root of your spirituality. It is a doctrine that you associate with. This is one of the reasons sometimes, you know, you find a lot of young Haitian people now who choose to be, you know, to, to meditate, to do other things, but they are being judged by their family. Just because you are Haitian, that doesn't mean you need to be a voodoo practitioner. No. Just because you are Haitian, that doesn't mean you need to be a Catholic. No. Just because you are Haitian, that doesn't mean you need to be a Muslim. Or just because you are anything else. You know, whatever your background is, you choose your religion based on what you believe in, but based on what you believe, your beliefs. So basically, as you become an adult in your mid-30s, late-30s, you know, 30s, sometimes we may change. This is why, you know, maybe, you know, when you were in, 20, in your 20s, you could have been a Catholic, and when you're 30, you decide to be a Muslim. When you're 40, you decide to be, you know, a, it does not matter because as you grow, you evolve in life. So you are going to find a better way for you. There is actually a book about this artist, Don Clitandre, and um, I'm going to review his book. And also, I will upload the book, Eat, Pray, Love. It, it, you know, you guys have to read it. it. It shows you how individuals are seeking, you know, some type of balance with spirituality, not religion, spirituality. You know? Don't let people catch you down about religion. Don't let people fool you about certain religion. Do your own research about different doctrines and find what is best for you. Because at the end of the day, it is not going to determine your spirituality. That was my message for you. It was a very important message that I wanted to come out and speak about because of the strings of events that are going on in this world that I just, that I, that I deem that are just really, um, Unbelievable, really. Unbelievable. As humans, we need to find a way to cohabit on this planet. You know, that's it. Respecting one another and cohabiting with each other. Loving and respecting people. How can we, can, can, can we start doing that? I think that would be better for us. Anyways, stay tuned for my next topic, which is going to discuss the social problems in Haiti. Okay? Bye.